What is up? Let me do my little, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> you gotta keep it real up in these streets. No, I'm glad I don't have to keep it real in these streets. I keep it real faithful in these streets. Uh! Hope everyone's doing today. Hope everyone's doing well today. Um, you know, coming out to the garage. So one thing I've stopped doing is smoking weed in the house. Uh, <clears throat> Anne has never asked me to not smoke weed in the house. Anne has never asked me to not smoke weed ever. She's never made a negative comment about it. She's never made a negative joke about it. She's never got upset and brought it up in an argument ever. She's never said a single word about the fact that I smoke weed and stink up all of our vehicles and our house and everywhere we go. <clears throat> she's never brought, she's never, she's never made a stink of it ever once. And um, it just got brought up the other day. I think I brought it up and she just kind of laughed and she said she's never walked into our house and it not smell like weed. And I'm like, really? Even after you get home from work? And she's like, it's the first thing I smell as soon as I walk in the door. It's just weed. And I thought, you know what? That's not fair. Okay? Annie loves a clean house. She works hard to keep everything clean and fresh looking and smelling. And here I am just like blowing weed hits as I walk through the fucking hallway. Um, so um, without even saying anything... I just started to smoke in the garage. Um, she did catch on a couple like a, a couple days ago and said, I've noticed you haven't been smoking in bed. And then that's when I kind of told her, well, you know, maybe the house shouldn't be freaking like weed constantly. And um, so here I am. Had a little bit of a late night last night. Not because I stayed out and partied. Um, because I had to work for a while. This is one of my cooler coffee mugs. Uh, I got it from the Badlands in Wall, South Dakota. And it's just super cool, like, um, imitation corn cob bottom and just like an iridescent cool top. I don't know. Just super dope. So, um, so here I am in the garage, ready to preach something to you. I don't know what I'm preaching yet, but, um, I was listening to a guy, maybe you've seen the video, a short came up on my phone about a dude speaking at what looked like a pride fest in Ann Arbor, Michigan, which is, um, probably seven or eight hours from me and um he he was preaching the gospel right and of course he was met with all types of of um of pushback from a lot of gay people i'm gonna share i'm gonna share the link in my description here so go check it out if you want um the dude was fairly versed in what he was talking about and even had gay and um, homosexual ordained ministers approach him and tried to prove him wrong. And it was really good. Um, it was really good. And so I'll share that with you if you guys care to watch it. <clears throat> it's like 20-something minutes long. I, I watched it. Um, and it just made me... There were several points during that where I was like, Wow, these people are wild. But <clears throat> temps are dropping here. I'm not sure what the temp is right now. I should have looked. Um, crystal clear skies last night. Beautiful stars across the board. Wake up this morning and it's just like, it's just like, <clears throat> well, I'll fucking show you what it's like. It's like that. Just white. Look at that.
Well, there's a camera watching you.